not driver's seat, it's the 2008 Volkswagen R32. This car first showed up in California in 2006. It got some small road tests as a European model, and then this came along. This is probably the best and fastest little car in the Golf line they've ever made. I'll tell you, we're going to look inside and out and give you a premium overview of the 2008 R32. And it starts with performance. It starts with that 3.2 liter V6 under the hood with 250 horsepower, driving through the all-wheel drive system called as 4Motion, and the heart of that is the Haldex system. It's a great opportunity to, for you to see how the power gets displaced from one corner to the other and puts all 250 horsepower on the ground. That's driving through one of the best transmissions in the business, the DSG, the direct shift transmission. It really doesn't matter how you say it. It comes down to this, the drive and the feel of the R32 as above all others in its class. Sure, you can go out and go faster in an STI or an Evo, but when you're talking about Gran Turismo Touring, this is the car for you. So we have the hood open of the 2008 R32. Driving this vehicle, and Dennis and I will disagree a little bit on this, was probably one of the most pleasurable parts of my day. Now the disagree part is, I felt that there was more power than you actually needed in this car. You put your foot down, it moves. You put your other foot down, it stops. You don't have to do anything else but look straight ahead and go. This car is well engineered and it's a drive I haven't experienced with anything else in the class. I'm only going to resonate what Nick just said, except for I don't really disagree. It's just that 250 horsepower, though absolutely exhilarating in the R32, you can actually feel the engine wanting to do more for you. I think with a little bit of an electronic tweak, maybe a chip, maybe some pulleys, maybe some exhaust, maybe some intake work, and all of a sudden you'd be at 350 horsepower. Then all of a sudden you're at supercar status for less than probably 50 grand overall. Now when you're talking about stock though, it does come down to the feel. Like I'd mentioned, cars like the STI, the Evo, or maybe even something from Honda can rival it in outright performance, but it's that GT feeling you get. Sure, an STI can go around a corner faster, looking good with that giant wing on the back, but I'll tell you this, when it comes to grand touring, when you're out on the open road, the luxurious side comes out and the power is still there. We'll get to that when we jump inside. <laughs> When it comes to styling of the 2008 R32 Volkswagen, it really is a double-edged sword. Now you have the front end with its own front valance that makes it its own signature, and you have the nice twin outlet exhaust in the rear, so you know it's a GTI R32 coming or going. But really, this car is a very fly under the radar sports car. There's cars out there, like I've already mentioned, the STI or the Evo, with their large wings and very aggressive paint jobs. This car is, say, maybe the gentleman's sports car, and I think that's why it tips towards the GTI. Attitude. It does it both in its performance and its styling. I'm by no means a VW specialist, and I can tell you I can't see the difference between this vehicle and a GTI apart from what Dennis talked about. The side is very subtle, and there is a few little valances here and there that make this car look slightly sporty. But if I was to see it to roll into a parking lot, I wouldn't know that it had such a great engine under the hood unless I could see it next to maybe another GTI, and so I could look at the side of the car and see what the differences were. It is very subtle, it's very simple, and that's the beauty, like Dennis said. <laughs> Now that we've talked about the powertrain and the exterior, we're going to get to the best part, the driver's seat. One of the best driving positions in the industry. I love the gauges. I love the way that everything falls easy at hand, and I love the fact that there's tons of room even for a guy my height and weight. But it really comes down to that perfect transition in between where your hands fall on the steering wheel. The outside is just your world, and you're driving right through it. There is that big, giant Achilles heel. The driver's access to the navigation system. I hate it. I don't want it. I hate it. I don't like it. And I don't want to deal with it. As for me, I just as soon drive the car, rip that thing out of the dash. Yet again, Nick disagrees with Dennis on the interior. Love the interior of this car. Now the navigation might not be the easiest to get around and it might not be the simplest to look at and to figure out. But let me tell you, the fact that it's in here in the car in the first place is a big up. All those other vehicles that are in the same class as this, even though they may be faster and have greater horsepower and some better handling in some cases, 
They don't have what this car has on the interior. This car is well laid out. It has things on the interior that I want inside my car. The navigation, the stereo system, all come together to make this a very desirable package. I'll say the car is well laid out. The only down for me on the interior is the fact that the seats are actually manually adjustable. I'd like to see these seats electronically adjustable. That would round off the luxury package for me. <laughs> So we take a look all around the 2008 Volkswagen R32. Dennis, two ups and one down. My two ups and one down are fairly simple for the new GTI R32. My first up is the overall balance. The Haldex system in the 4Motion, the DSG transmission, and the perfect balance of horsepower versus drivability. Sure, I'd like to see more horsepower, but the overall package is right on the money. My other up is going to be the feel from the wheel. When you're out on the open road, the car feels faster than it actually is. It feels more connected to the road. I mean, it's been raining the whole entire week we've had it, and I feel like I've been driving on dry pavement. My down is going to be this. It's a major Achilles tendon for this automobile. It's the navigation and stereo system. It is absolutely intrusive to any kind of thought or reason and I had a chance to actually sit down in my driveway for 15 minutes and try to figure it out. As far as I'm concerned, I'll take the car, you can keep the stereo. Boy, it couldn't be further apart than Italian and Chinese food from how I feel from Dennis. Let's talk about the exterior of this car. That's my first up. I'll tell you, it's very well put together. This car is sporty, and I look at some of these things on this car that make it feel kind of cool. That is the fact that the low-profile tires are so close to the wheel wells, it makes the car look almost streamlined. The other things on the exterior of the car that are nice are the smooth and very uninterrupted lines. Let's talk about my second up for this vehicle. That's got to be the overall drive. It was a pure pleasure. I almost felt like at some points the engine had too much power for me. The car going around corners handles well, accelerates well, stops and starts well. This car overall was a very enjoyable ride. I will also tell you about my interior. That's going to be a third up for me. The interior, and I know we don't normally do three ups and one down, is so nicely put together. So many of these cars, like the SRT4 and the STI, are so plain and really there's nothing on the inside to talk about. I love the fact that this car comes with all the bells and whistles on the inside. All the electronics that I want in this vehicle. It makes three ups for me. My down for this vehicle is the fact that it really doesn't fit into any lifestyle that I can understand. If you get these young guys who want lots of power and speed, they're going to be buying your SRT4 or your Evo. You get the older guys who may be interested in this car, but when you look at the price break, they're going to be choosing something of maybe an upper-class German model. I don't really see how this car is going to be marketed, although I enjoyed my overall look of it from start to finish. <laughs> The 2008 Volkswagen R32 comes standard with a 3.2 liter VR6 250 horsepower motor and a 6 speed DSG automatic transmission. Its standard vehicle price is $32,990 with an as tested price of $35,430. City and highway EPA ratings are 18 city and 23 highway. seat is brought to you by Ray Reese Volkswagen. Family owned and specializing in Volkswagens for over 15 years and proudly presenting the all-new Portland Hyundai. Check them out at rayreese.com.